Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online, the legend of Dragoon walkthrough, let's play, whatever the heck you want to call this thing. In the last episode, we started the game as Dart and ran from a flea. Yes, I know, I know, it's supposed to be based on a praying mantis, but it's a flea, okay? Okay, moving on! Off screen, I did some quick little leveling stuff, nothing huge, but I ended up getting Dart to level 4, almost level 5. More importantly, I got his additions, his double slash, to level 3. Uh, next level is 45. As you can see though, his damage percentage barely went up, so it's like, not a huge deal. In this episode, we are going to head to Helena Prison. To hell! Let's go ahead and enter. You know, maybe Helena Prison is a tree stump. To me, it kind of looks like something that, like, crashed, I guess. But maybe it's like a giant tree stump. Well, how can I sneak in? Hmm. Oh. Hey. This, <laughs> this handy-dandy cart might be something I might be able to jump into. Or dart in a cart. Yeah. I know, it's pretty good timing. Let's go ahead and jump into follow the cart that's going into Helena Prison. Uh, it just so happens that they're getting their, their groceries today. I see, good meat and fish. Sir Frugal will be happy. You bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll inspect the load. Whoa! You have to interact with that button. If you don't, you will get caught. You will lose. All you gotta do is hit X. It seems to be okay. Lower the bridge. Now. And we're officially darting a cart. I don't really know what we're being pulled by. It's like a, like a bull elephant of some kind, maybe? I honestly, a lot of the animals in this game, I just, I don't, I don't fully understand what they look like, you know? Like, what is that thing? I love how it's probably the same merchant from the woods, but also probably not, or the forest, I should say. I made it. Yes, we did, and we have control of our friend Dart. So we can go ahead and uh, and walk around. You'll notice that there's no random encounters whatsoever. We're just permanently right in here. We can talk to this animal if we want, and nothing actually happens at all. We can't leave, and I don't suggest you try. Uh, but we can go ahead and talk to the merchant. Who, who are you? I I'm, I'm discovered. This way. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. No, that's okay. We want to do this anyways, because there is stuff that we actually can buy from the merchant. Uh, including a new item that I would recommend picking up. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly useful in a fight that we will have to undergo. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure we land this double slash. Yes. Double slash. It didn't kill him in one hit. I'm surprised. And he is using a magic attack against us called Sparknet. Don't worry, we're going to be buying a bunch of these ourselves because they're just so darn diggedly useful. Double slash. There we go. And that means, my friends, that we hit level five. So that was a or level, yeah, level five. So that was against a Helena Warden. Uh, and we'll be fighting a few of those as we go on. There we go. Level five. No new additions or anything yet. But that's a uh, sort of a required fight. So I wanted to show that anyways. Uh, help me. I'm just a delivery man. Be quiet. I'm not going to kill you. Oh, okay. I won't make a noise then. Uh, and then we could go ahead and talk to the merchant. Uh, I told you I won't make a noise. I will be unloading until you finish your business. Oh, hey you! If you are short on items, just tell me. I sell those too. Oh, I wanted to buy something. So let's go ahead and buy from him. 
Now, I actually, like I said, you can get Angel's Prayers, uh, revitalizes and recovers half of HP. Uh, that is basically a res, like a, you can, you can resurrect somebody from the dead. So I'm gonna buy two of those, uh, just in case, but then I'm gonna buy, like, three or four spark nets, and then I'm done, because that's a lot of money. Uh, and, of course, I would recommend saving. Nice! And now, we can head this way. So, Helena is, like, a, a pretty cool place. Now, don't forget the reason we're here. It's not for items, even though I'm, I'm Missile Dine Online, and, and that's what I want is all of the items ever. Uh, but right up there, we can get a burnout. Anyways, um, we're here to rescue Shayna. Shayna was taken from the village of Salise in the last episode, and we know that she, the army that was sent there has something to do with... Uh, some guy in a hood. I don't even know. Uh, so you can actually avoid almost all of the enemies here if you so choose and just run past them. Um, I would recommend doing that. You can fight them if you so choose. Who is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. We can just run away from him. Now, I'm pretty sure I you can fight those and not have to fight them anymore. But you'll notice that there are no random encounters. It's not like, oh, I'm being, I'm being found or anything. Uh, but I just want to run up here. And we can actually go all the way over here uh, and jump over, which is which is neat. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything. It just brings us to this out of service. Don't even think about it. Uh, that seems pretty. Oh, oh, shucks. Yeah, you actually don't go this way. I just wanted to show it because it's something unique that you don't see if you don't go that way first. So realistically, we only have one real way to go now. So we'll run past this guy who apparently didn't see us. We don't want to go out the bottom way. That's actually outside. Uh, instead, we want to go this way. That's like where the drawbridge is and all that stuff. Uh, we can wait for him to turn around and we can climb. Just like that. So easy. And then up these stairs. Helena Prison is weird. Like. To me, when I was a kid anyways, it always felt like it was kind of a maze, but it's really, it's really not. Right here, we can save if we so choose, but we just saved. Do we actually want to do it again? Probably not. There is a bunch of guys here, but we can go ahead and come down here real quick while they were walking around and uh, wait for this item to be here. And hey, look at that, you didn't even see us. We can go ahead and grab an angel's prayer and a, oops, and a leather jacket. Ugh, admit it, bastard. Admit what? Anyways, random encounter. I'll skip ahead. I just want to point out that now that we're level 5, uh, we're one-shotting these guys. So feel free, if you're following along, to do what I did. And just, just beat them all to the ground. You can, I promise. Uh, we have another item down here that we can grab, which is going to contain 50G. Oh my god. What are you doing? You want to come after me? Oh, you'll stop. Yeah, they won't actually change floors. Like, they won't go up a ladder to go get you or anything like that. So, you can pretty much do what you want. Back outside, we can go ahead and talk to this lift. And this one is not out of service. And we can actually take this up. Nice! And through the side door. So, like, like I was saying, it kind of feels like a maze, but it's not at all. Move quicker! Oh, no. Move quicker! Ugh. You have such bad luck. You will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? You really believe you can live comfortably in the jail? The head warden, Frugal, will feed you to the monster. Oops. Feed us to the monster? I won't let you humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty, feisty. It's the worst kind of... I don't know what is that. Warden initiate, I think is what it's trying to say. It's the worst kind of pow, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him. Who is this gentleman? Sir Lavitz! You, you bastard! You broke out of the jail? Silly guy. You think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this. Survive and go back to Endel's castle alive. Tell King Albert. Oh, yeah. I won't let you. Oh, no. I took care of those guys. Oh, wow. Hey, this guy's good. Is this civil war? 
Marvel, Civil War. You, who are you? Are you a dog of Basil too? Woo, we got some moves. Oh damn, Lavitz. Oh no. Nice job. Who are you? I'm Dart, I'm not your enemy. I am Lavitz Slambert. Slambert, what a name. I am the head of the first knighthood of the kingdom of Basil. Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. No, we don't. Oh my Jesus. Guys, welcome. Uh, hello to our, uh, hello? Our first party member. Lavitz. I love this dude, man. He is such a great character. Uh, so fun. Anyways, welcome Lavitz, a knight of Bajir, uh, who fights with a spear and has his own edition set, all his own. Mm. Which I ruined right away. It's called Harpoon. I'll show you in a second when I don't suck. Uh, there is some delay, actually, on the PSN, which is how I'm playing this game, is on the PSN. Uh, there's some delay in the, in the, the additions. So you have to kind of, it's timed really weird. You guys don't notice, obviously, but as the one doing it, I do. But don't worry, I'll show it off right now, though. I also would like to say that I always, 100% of the time, have trouble. There it is! Harpoon! I always have trouble with uh, Lavitz's additions. Always have, always will. And there we go, our first fight with Lavitz and Dart. And we came out on top. I figured we would. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, naturally, we're going to have to take a look at Lavitz, right? After this, his stats and what he's what he's rocking with. I will carry out your wish. You said, Dart. I cannot imagine there is somebody who intentionally comes to Helena. What are you up to? I'm here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shayna. Hmm. Mm, I'm sorry, but... I'll look elsewhere. Wait! I'll, I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. She's important, this girl you were looking for. It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know what brought you here, but Helena is not that easy to go through alone. Hmm. That goes for me, too. But I can break out from here together with you. Of course, with the girl. How come you trust me? We've just met. The raid you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's the way I think. All right, let's go together. Boom, boom, boom. So let's go ahead and take a look at Lavitz. Look at this. Look at oh my god, what a man. He's so he's so handsome. Uh, so he has one addition right now. It's called Harpoon. Uh, damage percent a hundred. Uh, and he's got quite a bit of ways to go before that goes up because obviously we only performed it once in that entire fight. We can go ahead and take a look at his stats too, if that's something you guys are interested in. Uh, he actually has more attack than uh, darts just based on his weapon and his his uh, his body. Uh, but uh, a little bit less defense on his body. You can see, right? He's got pretty much better stats almost across the board except for speed, right? Uh, much better. So he's a he's a good character. He's a good character to have right now. For sure. All right. So now that we've taken a look at well, let's go into this cell real quick so that guy doesn't fight us. Not again, not that it matters. So you can see that poor thing. I thought that said poor as in like pour a drink. Oh, what am I in the mood for? All right, going this way. It is definitely possible too to accidentally run into a guard that comes out of one of the other ways. So let's head this way into these cells. Remember, we're looking in all of the cells to try to find Shana -na -na. Uh, right up here, we can go ahead and grab this item that just so happens to be in a cell, which is a spark net. The wardens were saying that girls can find in the second prison tower. Why were they making so much noise about just one girl? I just didn't want to fight. Why do I have to be set to this hell? Hmm. 
Sounds like they're forcing people to fight over there in the in the Imperial the Imperial pigs. Ah, another chest, you say. Let's go ahead and jump up here. Woohoo! And that will give us 20, 20 G. Oh my god. Let's talk to uh, Shaky over here. Frugal's coming, Frugal's coming to kill me, Frugal's, Frugal's. <sighs> okay, dude. Guy doesn't seem uh, that stable. So we've heard a lot of talks about Frugal. He must be a pretty strong guy. Uh, we did see him toss that dude up too. Like just right over the thing. So this goes in a big circle. So if you go this way, um, it leads you back into where, you know, at where you you and Lavitz just fought. So I'm gonna go into the cell real quick, just so you, just so I can show you, the the way that's like closer to the screen. You can see the arrows there as well. The ways we didn't go, that does the same. It leads the same places, so you don't have to go that way at all. Uh, so we'll go back outside. Remember, they said the the girl is being kept in the second tower, which just so happens, who is it? Yeah, we can go ahead and take this. This is a required fight, so I'll go ahead and show it. Uh, yeah, we, we have to go into the second tower, which just so happens to be... Well, luckily for us, this guy just gave us our ride. So I'm actually going to go ahead and guard with Dart here. Uh, mostly so that I can go ahead and get Lavitz's addition systems rocking and rolling at this point. Uh, just because he's so far behind Dart. At, just because I did so much grinding. Harpoon! We'll go ahead and uh, guard again as Dart. And a big old Spartanek is going to come out at us. Luckily, we guarded, so it's not going to do much damage at all. <laughs> Two damage. Yeah! God, the addition system in this game is just so satisfying. Look at him. That's the first time we won in battle with just Lavitz, too, so we got to see how, how big and brownie he is. He's a man. He's a man's man. And thank you for the ride, my friends. Well, this would be a tower right here. Can we use it? God, it's locked. Oh man, looks like we gotta find a key. Uh-oh, there's a guard. Let's take him out! Now, I wanna point out too that now that we have an additional team member, we're actually getting experience slower because it's split between the two characters. So we actually don't really want to grind right now. The experience just isn't high enough. Uh-oh, the security's tight. Hmm. Oh, we can't get up there either. The security's tight. Well, I wonder if we could just go this way instead. There's no guards here. This room is extra tightly guarded. I wonder why. <laughs> what about this key? Take it with us. We'll need it if the girl called Shayna is under confinement. Acquired the key to Shayna's cell. Really? But why only that girl? I intend to ask that directly to the head warden. But that's after we rescue Shayna. Hmm. Incredibly guarded room. And yet the key is sitting on a box. Uh-huh. Yeah. Makes sense. Not only did we get this lift just magically put down for us, we also get a key to this door so that we can go get Shayna. fascinating stuff. We can just go ahead so that guy doesn't attack us. Again, it's just really not worth fighting in here. The XP is just not that good. There looks like a big door here. Ah. When night falls, I hear an eerie voice coming from somewhere. It goes... <laughs> okay. Uh, over here, we can go and get another item, which is going to be 20 golds. We're rolling in it, my friends. Uh, and if we want, we could go forward into this this group of three. Uh, which, you know what? We probably should. You! You are from Brazil! Lavitz, get them before they make a noise. Yeah! Okay. Two on three, baby. Just the way I like it. Another required fight, so of course I'll show this one, because we can take out these guys pretty pretty handy-dandy notebook. 
I love that they just do no damage whatsoever. The only time you're even at risk of dying in here is, you know, if they use a magic attack when you're, like, grinding, which you shouldn't be anyways. Oh, we gotta get you some levels, dude. You are just not performing. I mean, seven damage right now isn't bad, right? But when you have Dart able to just finish somebody off with one attack with an 11, it feels pretty good. Okay, I knew a spark net was gonna come out, so this is actually gonna hurt Lavitz a little bit. A four? Yeah, Lavitz, poor Lavitz, man. It's gonna go down. Good thing we have those angels prayer, huh? He's a joke. There we go, a full 11. And then we can go ahead and finish this one off with one more harpoon. Yeah! I love I love his, his winning animation. He just spins his staff around. It's good, it's real good. So I wonder if those three guards were, perchance, guarding someone. Who is it? Th that voice. Is that Sheena? It's me! Dart? Dart, is that you, Dart? Yes, it's me. I'm here to rescue you. Uh, hurry up! The guard is coming! Well, good thing we got a key that was sitting on a box surrounded by guarded troops. Sheena. Dart. I'm here to rescue you. Oh. You haven't forgotten me, even though we haven't seen each other for five years. How could I forget? You're so handsome. Show me your face. I haven't changed much. Yes, you have. You look much stronger. Much more than the dart I knew. Hurry up! The guards are coming back! Oh, she brushed her hair at. She's got a crush on Dart. Of course she does. It wouldn't be a video game if they weren't, like, gonna, you know. The girl's breaking out. I won't let her. She's coming out. She wants Helena to know. Got to. No, I'll stop. Another required battle, this time against three. Uh, and it's just the two of us again. But. Well, let's, let's just, let's go ahead and uh, even those odds real quick. There we go. Nice and easy peasy. Now, Levitz is much slower, so you'll notice that Dart will tend to get like two turns. He's not actually that much slower, but slow enough to matter. Where you'll see Dart get two turns to, to Lavitz's one, usually. As long as the enemies aren't incredibly faster, then it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This way, Lavitz gets an additional uh, harpoon in here. He would have no matter what, but this way it kind of spreads it out a little bit. Since we especially don't need, you know, they're not doing enough damage where we can't use our additions on them. There we go. 11, baby. Even darts is cool, his victory animation. Like, like does the fist thing, he's like, yeah! See, it is so slow to gain a level. Lavitz still hasn't gained a level yet. And we probably have done more fights than Dart did for two levels. Are you hurt? I'm fine. You can celebrate later. We're still deep in the belly of the enemy. Besides, it's too damp to have a party, isn't it? Let's go, Shayna. Follow me, okay? Dart, I'm 18 years old now. <laughs> okay, big girl. I can fight too. Shayna, she grew up. <laughs> she was alone in such a hell-like place, Helena. If she was a regular woman, she wouldn't have been able to survive. Of course, there are not that many fools who would come here to save her. But the Shayna of my memory hasn't changed a bit. Let's talk about that after we get out of here. Poor Lavitz. Lavitz is like, dude, we are like in the middle of a war. Can we move? Uh-oh. 
Say that again. Well, well, the knight from Basil broke out of the jail. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about that rat. After that, the girl from Celise was taken by the red guy. What? What did you say? The, the girl was taken away by the guy with the red armor. <laughs> you bastard. Don't let them out alive. Wait, I almost forgot the most important thing. Don't kill the girl. It's an order from His Majesty Duel. Aye, aye, sir. If you fail, I will behead all of you. The red one. I'll get you. I might as well dye everything else red with your blood. Dude, Frugal is a cool guy. Yeah. I think that's foreshadowing the fact that we're probably going to have to fight him. I'm going to run into this cell real quick. I don't think there's anything in here, but and just to avoid the random encounter anyways. Uh, where's that rat? I want that rat to come back. That high graphic quality rat. Whoa. Uh oh, he didn't even fight us. See, if you're fast, you can just you can just be like, yeah, right. I'm a ninja. Ah, one more item that we can grab here, which contains 20 G. Everything is over. There is no way I can get out of here alive. Hey, don't give up. If we throw our hope away, we're just fools. That's true. Also, why are we not breaking them out? We're just like, you're on your own? All right, and this is how we leave. And pretty much just go back out the way you came. That's it. We can't use that lift because it's broken, so we just have to kind of continue down. We've pretty much explored everything here in Helena. But I feel like we definitely saw items and stuff like that that we couldn't get. Frustrating. And also, Shayna is in our party. I should show you something real quick. What? Additions cannot be used. Interesting. She starts at level four. We can look at her stats too, just to go ahead and show you. She's using a short bow. Look at her magic. So look at Lavitz's, look at hers. Lavitz, hers. Her magic attack and magic defense are through the roof. They're so good uh, compared even to darts. She is, and look at her speed. Oh, yes. She is going to be our magic user. That is for sure. Uh, she does use a bow, but it's just not good enough. Once you're all saved and ready to go, we can proceed back this way, which actually leads to the way we came in. There's a whole bunch, like I said, that we just can't explore yet. And look who it is. The merchant has actually changed his location, which is actually quite good for us uh, because we need to buy some stuff from him. Let's go ahead and buy some spark nets. Just real quick, trust me, you're gonna want these. We have five, let's buy, ah, eight sounds good to me. Thanks, be careful, everybody's on edge. Oh, I believe it, merchant guy. Uh, let's wait for this guy to turn and as soon as he turns back, we will pop on down, all right. And now, before you go this way, this is something I've, I wanna talk about a little bit. We are going to go to our addition system for darts, and instead of using double slash, we're instead going to switch to volcano. As you can see, that 200 damage percent is just going to be way better than that 165. Double slash just doesn't compete in the damage department. Uh, we'll finish up double slash soon, but for now, it's important. We have a boss fight coming up. We should use our most powerful additions. And here he is. Our first real boss fight of the entire game. So, you're the red one acting like a prince. Then what? There's one answer. You and the leader of the knights are feed for the pen. After I mint you up. Lavitz, is this the head warden? His name is Frugal. He's so bad even the people of his own country are afraid of him. You have such a calm face. Or are you paralyzed from fear? You attacked Celise, didn't you? No, I just gave them the order. Why did you have Shayna taken away? Well, I don't know. Emperor Duel said to just bring that girl back. The order was so trivial that I added the new one of annihilating Celise. <laughs> Frugal, unforgivable.
And here we go, our first real boss fight in the Legend of Dragoon. Oh, boy. This is some exciting stuff. Frugal is going to enter this fight with two of his friends. They are Helena Wardens, and they are not a problem whatsoever. We actually can't attack Frugal, though, when we start this fight, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and use Shayna to use an attack real quick. Don't use any attack magic items yet on these guys. It's just not worth it. Now, unfortunately, they did choose Lavitz to hit this with, but that's fine. It should only do about four damage. Uh... And his magic defense isn't that great uh, at this at the time, but it's enough. It's enough to withstand a, a quick little burnout. And that should be it for that Helena Warden. Yeah, they only have about 12 health, which is actually perfect for us because here's your first time seeing this addition, by the way, Volcano. Boom, baby. 13 damage. Double slash at this level does 11 damage. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice to be able to take something out in one hit now at this point It's actually pretty important You can skip a whole bunch of damage by not physically attacking frugal yet instead We're going to use Sparknet and see if we can just really really ruin his day So I'm gonna go ahead and use my my little trick here that I do not using a turbo controller by the way I don't use a turbo controller 27 damage with that Sparknet. That is nice. I'll actually do a video in the future where I show the camera uh, and show you guys actually what I'm doing for those weapon uh, for the magic because like I said I don't actually use turbo controllers you can uh, and you'll be doing a ton of magic damage uh, it's just not something that I I you know I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of doing stuff like that so we only got 176 but 10 damage isn't bad uh, with dart we actually could have done more physically but again we don't want frugal to attack us yet now Lavitz really shouldn't be using a spark net kind of a waste his magic attack is just so low that even if you do this high which for whatever reason mine got stuck and wasn't letting me um it's not going to do much damage at all it's actually pretty much a waste of a turn you're better off probably just having Lavitz guard during this this part um but yeah this is a this is a wonderful way to just avoid like hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of points of damage <laughs> seriously maybe not that much i might be exaggerating Ooh, i'm screwing this up pretty hard on these magic attacks now Ugh, such a wimp Hey, it's your turn! Why does this voice constantly change, Corey? Anyways, uh, we can still attack Frugal if we so choose. And in fact, we're not going to. No, no, no. Instead, we're going to attack one of these senior wardens with Dart. Oh, look at that counter! Yeah, the senior wardens can, in fact... Uh, well... They can be kind of annoying and try to uh, t try to counter you for the first time. That's one of the first enemies that will actually do that now. But if you did the tutorial that we did in the last episode, you should be totally fine. And let's see. Can we get 200 on this? Oh, so close. 11 damage, though. Lavitz, though, he's just going to guard. There's no reason for him to attack right now. Now Frugal's attacking. Not good. Not good. That's going to do a lot of damage against Shayna. Luckily, though, she doesn't take a lot of uh, magic damage, which is the important part that I'm about to show you. So as soon as you kill one of these senior wardens, which uh, we're going to wait until it's Dart's turn to actually do that. Let's go ahead and throw out another spark net over on Frugal. Now, you do want to keep... You do kind of want to keep Frugal uh, targeted during this point and, like, do as much damage to him as you possibly can, just because he can be so devastating he just does way more damage than these senior wardens do there's no reason to get rid of them before you get rid of frugal um but i will go ahead and get rid of this one just to show you what they do when they die Ugh. might as well take you to hell with me they use this massive magma gush attack and as you can see even blocking that did 13 damage to Lavitz so at this point I just like to play it safe and have Lavitz just kind of hold on now I think if I'm not mistaken Shayna with a high powered spark net right now might be able to finish off Rugal. let's see this should be enough damage as long as I don't screw this up and can actually get high enough which I screwed it up oh looks like he's still gonna stick around that's okay as soon as it's Dart's turn Dart will finish him 24 damage, man. That's actually pretty significant at this point in the game. Followed by... That's 29 in one turn. 
It's quite a lot. I think, though, that we can finish this off with a volcano. There we go. Beautiful to finish him off like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and guard with Shayna. And as soon as it's Lavitz's turn, he's going to guard as well. There's no, like I said, there's just no reason for him to attack this uh, senior warden. Thirteen damage. Now there is something that speedrunners do. It's a little bit of a trick. Uh, they'll actually do it to basically avoid these senior wardens ever even spawning. And I don't do that just because it's kind of a manipulation of the way the game works and the game code and the times and all that. Look at that. That's good. Oh, that was real good. Two sixteen. Ugh. Gushing magma. I might as well take you to hell with me. An appropriate, an appropriate spell, my friends. He's going to go ahead and cash ma Gushing Magma. That does over 26 damage, by the way, to Lavitz every time it's used. It's pretty significant. And we beat our first boss fight. Not only do we get four healing potions, but we also get a wonderful new accessory, the Night Shield. And more importantly than that, 300 experience. It is so important that your team stays alive at the end of every boss fight. I'm not joking. It's so much experience at the end. Uh, most of your levels in this game are actually probably going to come from bosses. Is he immortal? Let's get out of here, Shayna. Get on the horse. Hurry. Bastard. Keep them from going, even if it costs you your life. That's how. That's that's me. Frugal's me. Oh, yeah. Raise the bridge. Jailbreak. Nah, dude. We're out. Uh-oh. Lavitz. 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 Oh, don't. Oh, God. That's. Oof. Whew. I'm sure Lavitz was clenching his butt a bit there. Bring her back here, or you will be dead. <sighs> You, you, uh, when did you sneak in? Should we tell this to His Majesty Dole? Wait, I'll bring back the girl. Otherwise, you'd be dead by now. You go too, bastard. It doesn't matter. Everything is going just as I planned. Yes, they don't know they are in the palm of my hand. And we find ourselves back on the map. In the next episode, oh, 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 I was doing an outro. Well, Dart hit level six in that battle that ruined my outro. Anyways, in the next episode, we are still being chased by the Imperial Army. They are still hot on our heels. So we are actually heading over here, which is a new pathway to the prairie. Uh, we're not going to go into the prairie just yet because it starts kind of a chain of events that we don't have time for in this episode. So I'm going to end it here, but just know the Imperial Army is on our tail. They want to bring her back. They want to kill us and bring Shayna back to Helena Prison, but we aren't going to allow them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Not only did we get to uh, invade Helena Prison, but we got a new friend in Lavitz and we recovered our old friend Shayna. And I am just so excited to be doing this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, if you are, please leave a like on the on the on the video. It really does help me out. And of course, a comment telling me, uh, do you do you like Labbits? How do you feel about Labbits? And don't no no spoilers no spoilers. Do you like Labbits? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and just, just a reminder: for a dollar a month, you can get early access to these videos and support the channel. Just go to patreon.com slash online. One dollar early access. Thank you guys, and remember, never give up, never surrender to frugal. Frugal. <laughs>